to the field of play. Time for the action though now as we go to semi-final number one. Let's go down to the field of play for the introduction of the athletes for the compound men's individual semi-final. On target number one. Representing Netherlands, Mike Schlosser. <laughs> On target number two, representing France, Jean Philippe Bush. <laughs> and the blind judge for this match is Marine Haas. So athletes introduced out here on the field of play. Mr. Perfect, Mike Schlisser, a three times high on the Archery World Cup final champion, including the last two, going off against a, a two-time individual stage bronze medalist, Jean-Philippe Bouche of France. What a matchup here in the first semi-final. Schlisser of the Netherlands will get this semi-final underway. Starting as we know he means to go on. Okay. Almost didn't look happy that day. A little bit of a movement of his arm to the right, but straight in the centre. Well, Mr. Perfect starts with a perfect. Well, 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 if that is the tone of things to come, we've got uh, Mr. Perfect against Monsieur Parfait. Nothing outside the middle. A couple of X's from uh, Mike Schlisser. Is that three from Bush? Yeah, it was. That X ring is just inside the 10. It still scores 10 points, but in the qualification round, we score those just to decide between people if they've scored the same points overall. But yeah, just showing the quality, isn't it, of how tight these arrows are together. Close up there of the uh, sights and the, the level that Nikki's talking about, where they want the, the spirit level to be right in the middle, very level. Avoid the arrow going off in the wrong direction. I mean, this is an incredible start. Three X's from Jean Philippe Bouche. A 10 and two X's from Mike Schlusser. No one's missed the center. Schlusser to shoot first in the second. A 10, but still making an adjustment. Not quite in the middle of enough. See that little fibre glow pin in the centre of the site. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another little adjustment, <laughs> just slightly to the right in the, in the X ring there. My boy. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> quality of this match is incredible. I just lost it with a grouping. Not much bigger than uh, a one euro coin. Yeah, and that grouping's not bad at all, but you can see the disappointment of a single dropped point from JP Gorsh. No. Nikki, a nine, a 29 out of 30 is an incredible score. Unless you're facing Nick Schlusser. Yeah, I mean, any of these top guys in compound are really shooting near perfect scores anyway. So, I mean, at this level, oh, you can't really afford to drop points, especially in these conditions. Like, it's unheard of for an Italian to be so still and calm. And, you know, we are expecting really high scores from this group. Great view of uh, both archers at full draw. Try and look, just keep their calm, and you don't see any expression on their face. But uh, Schlitter has just snuck into the lead. He hasn't missed the centre of the target yet. Just a 1 9 from Bulsh, and he'll get in number three underway. He clearly wasn't happy with that shot. He looked away because he knew something wasn't right, but. It was all lined up and it went in the 10. So he's got to push the reset button mentally in his process, just get back into this. Nervous, doesn't he? That arrow maybe just falling off the rest. Shaking. He's got a back tension, so he thumbs off the peg. Yeah, something did not go right there at the beginning, and that was a great shot, really, to see close up how much tension there was in JP Borsch's draw. Yeah. Well, look at this. The grouping is outstanding. Listen, what? I mean, he's on 90. We, we talked about this before, haven't we? We've got all the way through to the 15th hour. He's not missed the center, and then it drops the ball. Uh, it doesn't look like that here, though, does it? Oh, I don't know, Crib. It's when you call, oh, he's on for a perfect, and then that's where it normally goes wrong. So, you know, we'll, we'll try that out in the fifth end, hopefully. Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure Mikey Slosser blamed me as well when he's missed that. Uh, shot at a 150. I mean, he's, he's shot plenty of them, let's be fair, Mike Slusser. I'm sure uh, JP Bulch has had his fair share of 150s as well. Like you say, these archers are almost expected to be in the centre of the time with every single shot. But now we've talked about it, of course. Mike Schlusser is bound to drop a point, but he hasn't so far. 90 out of 90 for him, 88 out of 90 for JP Bulch. The quality of the first men's semi-final of the London Archery World Cup season 2022 is absolutely stunning. Great shot. I think that's going to help his confidence keep that shot process going. It's the right little sweep on the site. Yeah, quite a lot of them have gone up there, and irrespective of his tweaking, he's got that amazing grouping there. Incredible quality remains here. Bulsh getting a 
and the perfect score. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And we said, as soon as I mentioned the 150, that uh, Mike Schlitter was going to drop one. It's marked as a nine for a measure, but that did look out, didn't it? Yeah, it's, it's difficult to tell from the angle. We've got a clear angle there of the arrow in the line, but we'll find out. Perhaps it's a little closer than I thought. tuned individually but it was a 29 for Mike Schlusser he still leads despite a perfect from JP Borsch as the Frenchman is on at 118 against Schlusser's 119 so the start of the fifth will begin with JP Borsch Just doesn't look happy, but <laughs> there's nothing really that, that's obvious, is there? Yeah, I mean, he's shooting about tension. It might just be the way he's making, you know, trying to make those shots go off. Maybe he's cheating the release aid a little bit. He's getting annoyed at himself for the way he's set them off. It's hard to tell. It's such an intrinsic feeling, but as an archer, you know, you know what that lovely shot feels like you know if you're a golf player a hockey player when you strike the ball perfectly and you get that kind of beautiful vibration back through uh, the stick or the club same thing in archery you know as an archer what it feels like Long hold here. And dropping into the nine for a 147 out of 150 finish. Is it going to be a 149 for Mike Schlusser? Yes, it is. We didn't even need to see the target because he told us he dropped just a single point, Mike Schlusser. The third arrow of the fourth end was his sole nine in a cluster of tens and X's. A dominant performance from Mr. Perfect, and he is through to the gold medal match.